Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 11th, 2020. So as we remember the 9-11 attack, we have an interesting day setting up in the market. Yesterday, we had an ugly sell-off that ended up being, uh, well, kind of a kind of a brutal little whipsaw where we moved up in the Dow more than 200 points and then completely reversed it, closing down more than 400 points on the day. That also left behind some ugly candle patterns um, in the index charts. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have kind of an interesting setup here in the market. Um, if we take a look at trends, and you guys know that I'm, I'm a big trend trader. That's what I do. I trade trends. Um, I see a problem starting to develop here. First off, we created a, a bit of a price action uh, damage in the chart yesterday. So first off, if we kind of draw our upside trend here, notice that we broke that trend, rallied back up, tested it as resistance, tested the price resistance in the chart, and then reversed in a failure. Now the only good side of that is yesterday we didn't actually make a lower low. We didn't break that down and break that low. So this is possible a little teeny tiny double bottom test in the chart. Currently this morning we're seeing the futures trying to push higher. We've got futures bouncing to the upside and they're, they've been quite volatile this morning, up um, uh, over 200 points, and right now showing up about 140 points this morning um, as we kind of head into the day. So what we do want to look at is we do have a bearish engulfing pattern here that we want to pay attention to and we want to realize that there is price resistance in this chart and even if we do rally back um, if we do get a nice rally today please keep in mind that i don't think we're out of the woods and i don't think we can say that the bearishness or the selling is over until we prove to break through that resistance up there and really hold it as a level of support so we have a little bit of challenge ahead of us now on the price action side of things um, but if we look at our moving averages the moving averages our technicals here are still quite sound quite good um, holding up what we what we really are experiencing is just a way overbought sell-off and it was definitely due, overdue um, in the market. The question now is, is it over? And I got to tell you, with a 50-day moving average be, being so close here, I got to think it's not over. Um, I think there's a high probability we end up testing um, that that 50-day moving average. Now, that doesn't mean we can't get a relief rally or rally back up, but I still think there is that high probability we eventually find a way to test that 50-day moving average. So let's keep a close eye on that um, and remember that as we approach the day. Uh, even though we might be catching a rally, we want to be a little bit careful not to overtrade just in case we do whipsaw or over the weekend decide to turn lower again. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY very much in a similar situation, leaving behind this ugly bearish engulfing candle. Also, if I were to, let me go to a clean chart here and draw this trend, notice that we broke the trend, rallied back to test it as resistance, and just weren't able to get that done. So we've placed a resistance level in this chart right here that we're going to need to to recover from and that means we need to break back through prove that we can hold it so that's going to be a key level in any kind of bounce back once again we have this little um, area in here where we didn't create a lower low yesterday we tested boy did we test we came right down in there tested that level and um, found a way to um, stay off of that 
that price level, not break down through it yesterday, which lends a little bit of reason to uh, some bounce today. But let's not get too excited that we're done with the sell off being this close to that 50 day moving average here in the SPY. We may still uh, visit that level in the chart. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ is where we really started seeing the selling coming in yesterday and pushing down as these tech sector stocks are definitely, have been definitely overextended for some time now. And as a matter of fact, it was uh, this point up here, it was the most overextended in recorded history um, of the NASDAQ. And this pullback to test that 50 day moving average um certainly was um a healthy thing for the market to do now yesterday we actually tested that 50 day again here in the nasdaq so that could lead us lend us to that little bit more of um, hope of that the selling is over and we get that upside move in the market but let's not um, ignore the fact that we've created a lower high in the chart so we've created that lower high and that place where we need to recover um, from there that will give us the confidence that we're actually going to move on higher and I would not with the Dow and the SPY having yet tested its 50-day moving average I would not want to rule out the possibility that we could still um, find that way to breach a lower low here in the NASDAQ. So watch that close. And then IWM. IWM, interestingly, um, pushed back down, testing that 50-day and that 500-day moving average. But really, overall, we haven't seen a whole lot of damage being created here in the Russell. So let's watch that carefully and closely. Holding on to that 50 day moving average, this could also lend some of that support or help for a potential rally higher. So keep that in mind. But also keep in mind in that rally back, we have a considerable level of price resistance here to uh, get back through. So we broke down that price support, we rallied back up, tested it as resistance and failed. And we also have to recognize the fact that that we've kind of broken this trend and tested it as resistance and failed from there as well. So we've got a little both sides here that we're gonna have to stay focused on in the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX also was interesting yesterday um, in, in the fact that we really didn't see a major spike in fear as we sold off yesterday afternoon. That could point to that possibility of a bounce, that little bit of a rally um, in the market, but we're going to want to watch that pretty closely. Remember, we we are still quite elevated in the VIX, which means volatility is high. Excuse me, volatility is high, and that possibility that we could still see. Um, some big price swings in the market. So don't be surprised if we see some intraday whipsaws, um, intraday reversal patterns um, continue while we are so elevated in the VIX. And keep in mind, we're very, very emotional in this market. We could swing considerably higher and then completely reverse that back down. So remember that as you're planning your trades, whatever you come up with for a trade, remember you're either gonna have to hold through some considerable volatility or get used to the idea of taking those profits very, very quickly. Let's take a look at T21. 22, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And this also lends a little bit of um, comfort to the idea of a bounce. We are down here in this bearish reversal zone. We still have some downside potential here that could play out, but this morning we're, we're pointing to a bounce up. So let's watch this in here if we can bounce up in that market, bounce up out of this bearish reversal zone. That would, could be nothing more than a little bit of selling relief. Um, as I said, as we approach those resistance levels in the chart, we're going to want to watch that closely. So kind of keep that in mind. And last but not least, this T2101, I want to point it out. What's interesting is uh, we finally broke. We finally broke this downtrend 
in T2101, but it happened to be on a selling wave in the market. So keep that in mind. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see in a buying wave, are we going to continue this momentum? Um, or will we see some momentum in buying or will we see that momentum if we get a rally um, ebb and push back? So watch that closely. Um, could be an interesting day to pay attention to this. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. We do have something on that calendar that we want to pay attention to. We have a CPI this morning coming out here before the market opens. We'll want to pay attention to that. We're looking at that uh, consumer prices um, declining here just a little bit. Consensus is coming in at a 0.3. The prior was 0.6. If we come in anywhere around that, that actually could be bullish for the market. Watch for that. Keep a close eye on that. And then we have a treasury statement today. Unlikely that that's going to move the market around. Everyone knows um, that um, <laughs> we just keep pounding down the debt no one seems to care so i doubt that that's going to have much of a, an impact in the market today let's take a look at our earnings calendar we have about 15 companies reporting earnings but going through the list there really isn't much of anything particularly notable in that list today except for one and that would be kroger Kroger is going to be reporting today. This has done quite well um, in um, a COVID market, but I got to tell you, it, it's a challenging chart to trade because it is so wildly volatile here for some reason for a grocery store. That seems kind of weird that we we see all of these big whips and wicks and tails and whipping around in here. So let's wait and see what this does on its earnings report. Um, if it can start perking up or not, but a little bit of challenge here in that chart. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could um, help me out here by clicking that subscribe button and also clicking that bell icon when it pops up. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please make sure and do that so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, if you could help me out, if you found this video to be helpful, if you could click that subscribe button, or not subscribe button, but the thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, I truly, truly appreciate it. And you could also help if you feel that these videos are helpful, um, you could help me out by sharing these videos. Uh, share them on your social media platform. Um, you're welcome to do that. And that's really any of the videos in the um, Right Way Options um, um, channel, it, which we're nearing 900 videos now um, in the channel. So feel free to share those with any friends, family, or anyone out there that um, on your social media platforms. Um, that helps me a lot as well. And thank you to everyone who does that. You guys truly, truly are awesome. And I really, really appreciate it. So let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And I want to remind everyone that when I do this, that any of the stocks that I show in these videos is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. They are truly meant for um, continuing the education, looking at the patterns and things that I look at. And I need you to determine your own, um, your own trading. Um, do your own due diligence um, in these trades. It's never a good idea to blindly follow someone else. You have to trade based on your rules and your guidelines. So remember, no recommendation to buy or sell any security here. Let's take a look at a couple of stocks. A couple things that I've been kind of keeping an eye on. One being Starbucks. If we take a look at Starbucks, this pink line up here, I set a price alert in this. Now I know this price alert might seem a little bit, why would you place it there? But what I'm looking for is that possibility of an early bounce here in Starbucks. Now, Starbucks, I typically want to see those charts um, move off of their trends and price support. But one thing here about Starbucks that's kind of interesting is it broke its downtrend and we've 
broke it solidly, moved up through a price resistance level, and so far we haven't seen a major willingness to really sell this back off. So we're holding above this price support level. What that means is, is we could get that early response in here. Not that we will, but that we could. I still suspect there is that possibility that this could consolidate this support up here, move all the way out here toward trend before it moves higher. But just in case it takes off early and sets a new trend trajectory in the chart, I want to be watching this in here. So this alert um, that I've got in here will be moved as the price action continues to develop. But I want to be watching this for that opportunity maybe of that popping back up. Keep a close eye on that. Another chart you might want to make note of, uh, take a look at Coca-Cola. With that selling yesterday in the market, it was quite interesting that Coke was holding up quite well um, in the chart. Kind of a defensive sector stock. You might want to keep an eye on that. We broke through this resistance in Coca-Cola. We're holding in this area. I want to see that find that support area, continue to hold in here and push on higher. I fully expect this to move over toward trend yet. There may still be some bouncing around, but keep a close eye on that. Coke breaking some major resistance, holding a nice little trend and could be a pretty decent chart to keep an eye on. Another chart you might want to keep an eye on in that defensive sector um, that saw some bullishness yesterday was Tyson. Tyson perking up here. Now notice what I've got in this chart. I've got a big resistance level here in this chart that I've got drawn out. And notice we've been in a downtrend here on Tyson. Tyson poked through that level, tried to push on up yesterday, but that selling kind of overwhelmed things. And we ran into the challenge of that resistance. Let's watch, keep an eye on this. If Tyson can hold, up above this downtrend break, hold it in this area. We wanna look for that opportunity that it may push on through. And this morning's bullishness might be just what it needs to push this on up. So keep an eye on Tyson. Might be, one of, might be something you wanna put on a list and keep a close eye on. Take a look at McDonald's. <clears throat> I had mentioned McDonald's yesterday. Um, in fact, I've mentioned it the last couple of days and McDonald's continues to move on up um, in the chart. So even as we were selling off pretty heavily in the market yesterday, McDonald's was pushing up here and holding on to a resistance level in the chart. Let's keep a close eye on that. There is that possibility that McDonald's will push on out. And you can see my alert was in here. And I actually don't own this stock. Um, thought about buying it, chose not to just because of the way the market is acting. But um, you might want to keep an eye on this. If we can pop through that level and then hold trend, there may be a nice opportunity with blue sky above here in McDonald's. Keep that one on your list, something to pay attention to overall. Procter & Gamble was trying yesterday. P&G pushed up a little bit. We're still holding on to this price support in this chart sliding out here toward this nice trend. Let's watch this. If we can catch some bullishness in the market, it wouldn't be all that much of a surprise to see this pop on through and move on higher. So you might want to keep an eye on that. There was also some pretty good moves in some of the casinos yesterday. Um, take a look at like Las Vegas Sands, LVS. LVS had a nice bullish follow through yesterday when the market was selling off so strongly. And as you can see, let me redraw some of these lines. As you can see, we pushed up here in this chart and we actually are pushing up through this resistance level here in that chart. And that's fairly re substantial resistance level in the chart. So LVS trying to come back around, trying to push on through. We might want to watch this for any kind of rest or pullback in here into that trend for that next opportunity higher. So keep a close eye on that. And I would place the next target on this right up into here. So there would be plenty of upside room, particularly for an option trader um, to make some nice money in LVS. Watch that one close. Um, another place that you might want to take a look, these saw a little bit of struggling yesterday, but um, Altria, Altria is trying, after breaking through this resistance in the chart, it's trying to challenge this downside trend. Let's keep a close eye on that. 
I'm holding this nice consolidation in here. If this can move on through, if we can get a pop on up, that could be a pretty good sign for us here that we're ready to break that downtrend hold and, and continue this upside trend. Keep a close eye on that. Um, could be kind of an interesting chart as we progress. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a, oh, you know, one more. I got to I got to mention this one. Um, now, I have a bias on this. I'm still holding on to Disney. Disney um, tried really hard yesterday to push up and pushed up right up right up into that resistance, um, caught an upgrade yesterday, but the selling in the market kind of overwhelmed. Notice it's trying to perk up a little bit this morning. Let's keep a close eye on that as this moves up to maybe challenge some resistance in the chart. Disney might be one to keep an eye on. And just, just um, for full disclosure, I own this. I may have a little bias on this and also that Coke trade that I mentioned have, may have a bias on that. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and more than that i want to wish you an awesome awesome weekend everyone take care I want to remind all of the right way options members that we will be doing e-learning tomorrow morning um so um everyone come along um if you're available for that e-learning tomorrow saturday morning 10 a.m eastern time all right everyone i want to wish you all the best have a great day great success today and we'll see you bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone.